just in terms of, you know, Bollinger Bands, we'll take the volume off of here. Uh, Bollinger Bands are really your, your best tool here, whether it's on a shit coin like Costco dog, uh, or anything else. And we'll look at some other stuff here today too. Of course, somebody was wanting, uh, to look at Kusama, but then we'll get into the main subject here in just a minute. But, uh, in all seriousness, right. My buy entry, uh, was, uh, basically three cents, right. And if we were to take that area, look at how that held on support. That's kind of crazy. Now, <clears throat> psychologically, why is that number important? Well, you come back down here to this area and the first time I heard people talking about Costco dog going to a dollar 50, that's right around here where it was close to about a penny and a half, which is about a hundred X under a dollar 50, right? And so most people were buying below there, people who got in early on Costco dog, right? <laughs> I know how ridiculous it sounds. They were buying below that area of price. Then they started telling the public around that penny and a half. 2x would be up to three cents here, um, which is you know where they're buying back in. Now that had gone up here to about a seven or so x uh, from that area up. If you go down, if you go from like where the middle of that range was, it's closer to about a 16x. So once you get past like a 10 or 15x for the people who got in early, what do they do? Right, they take some profit. Meme coin season's over. Roll over. Buy some soul come back down, they buy back their position plus maybe a little bit more, buy some soul, and then we'll see if that holds, right? So does that area hold? Where Costco dog, because the Costco dog came down here and uh, wicked down to that area exactly of that uh, one and a half penny mark too. So you can already see like the numbers people are doing in their minds. Okay, I'll put in some orders at a penny and a half because that's where it's real, real cheap. So if it were to like kind of chop sideways here and then go down one more time, it probably gets support mostly at that penny and a half mark. By the time we get there, you know, Bitcoin might have cooled off enough to get ready for another run. And then boom, even easier of a price to, to buy some more cost or some buy some more Costco dog if you want it with other couch cushion money. Right. But um, if it does surpass this 20 day moving average and uh, sorry, not 20 day, uh, 20 moving average on the four hour chart, if it can get past this five cent mark, then it can it can pump up again. And I could see a meme coin like this uh, pumping. It still has low liquidity of a million dollars, but, um, where was it? Was it one of the memes, right? Yeah. Like the Costco dog right now, they are at 5,200 followers, right? When I started looking at it, it was like 1700, 1700 followers at three cents. So they've doubled, uh, well, actually they've probably tripled the amount of followers they've had. Uh, and, uh, you know, price held there as well. So kind of interesting, kind of interesting, but not too much analysis. All, the only thing you can really do on a meme coin is be like, okay, get in the minds of the idiots and be like, okay, well, 10 to 15 X. Okay. Oh, time to take profit, right? Dumps down. Oh, you know, good place to jump back in. You know, nothing complicated. Um, simple stuff. Know how many X's people are on uh, and how much they're shooting for and how much they think is realistic and where they're going to shave stuff off, right? Uh, so I would guess here on the next times to pay attention if it does pump again past that uh, 10 cent area, right? The next areas then to pay attention to would probably be uh, different multiples of uh, three, basically. Um, so 12, uh, 15, 18, 21, these kinds of numbers, right? All the way up to, you know, 30 cents and then 60 cents. 